hello everyone this is mehdi and you are welcome to a new video in this video we will learn how to edit ucommerce default card page with the limiter free plugin maybe you know if you want to edit ucommerce product page category page or card page checkout page then you, you need elementor pro plugin but in this tutorial we will do it with, with elementor free plugin and a free add-on but before jump into the main tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest wordpress tips and tricks and to get more videos on wordpress ok let's check which you are going to do in this tutorial this is my e-commerce website and in this tutorial i will edit the default card page with elementor free plugin ok this is the card page this is the e-commerce default card page which design comes from the theme ok I think it shows like annoying and it, that's why I want to edit this page with Elementor. So after editing or customized the card page, this is the final looks of the card page. You can see it looks like much better. The very first, this is the table title, then the product coupon code and update card button. You can see this is the card total. And this is this another very interesting thing, which is the cross sell product. If you want, then you can show the cross sell product in card face. Okay, so let's get started. Go to the admin dashboard, hope over on plugins, click on add plugin, just search here shop builder. This is the add-on which we are going to use in this tutorial. You can see it's a very very useful add-on uh, which is built by Radius theme. It's shop builder uh, element or e-commerce builder add-on. It's completely free. And if you want then you can check uh, their poor version as well. Okay, so in this tutorial we will use uh, the free version only. So click on install now. Activate. shop builder option is added after activating the plugin you can see this is the shop builder if you hover on it then it shows some menus like templates builder settings get health themes and apps okay so in this tutorial we want to edit the default card page that's why we have to create a card page template so again go to the dashboard and hover over on shop builder click on templates builder who is is showing very fast okay then WooCommerce page builder add new page click over here template name you have to give a template name here I want to give my card page card page then select template time type uh, I have to select type I want to edit the card page so click here and I have to select card this is the card okay so select card then the select editor type elementor definitely I want to use with elementor so select elementor here then the set as activate template sure I want to activate it then you can see here shows so far two pre built template on is free and another is pro so in this tutorial we are going to use free version so we can import this pre-built pre -built card template so click on import okay now edit with elementor click here from the bottom right side this is the card template editor now we can edit from here okay so before editing any widget or any element let's check again so this is the it was the default card face now just refresh it okay you can see the design has been changed now we have to design it for more better okay so again go to the editor then we can give margin padding select this section and navigate to the advanced tab you can see top 60 pixel we want to give here like 50 and the bottom will be 50 okay now scroll down then last save publish it and then check it okay you can see this is the table title and the image the before and after image gap is more we 
in this tutorial i want to remove this gap after and before okay so again go to the editor then select it navigate to the style tab then the select image this is the image here you can see fading top 30 and bottom 30 we want to reduce it like we want to give like 20 and okay right will be 0 and left will be 0 only top 20 and bottom will be 20 publish it refresh the page yes you can see it look it uh, looks like better then again i want to give this a button color background so again go to the editor then select button this is the button okay again select this widget then the button okay scroll down then color background color white almost white i want to give like blue okay you can see and change the back color so white you can give here white okay then publish it scroll down and i want to change this background color as well so again select this widget and navigate to the still tab then the button this is the button background color green i want to change it and i want to give like blue okay publish it then again refresh the page and check it yes you can see it has been changed so if you want then you can change this price color and the product title color okay so again go to the editor then select this widget then the title card travel just click here scroll down you can see this is the link setting link color if you hover on it then you can see this is the link color so if you want then you can change this color from here like only for the detail purpose i want to give like almost yellow you can see the color has been changed okay so again i want to give like it blue okay it works fine then the card table even row okay if you want then you can change the table row background color publish it refresh the page okay now let's check how we can change this row background color so again go to the editor select this widget and this is the card table odd row you can see odd and even row so select it and background color just click here okay you can see very fast this row background color has been changed so if you want then you can change another color so this is the table event row i want to give like it blue okay its color has been changed so actually i want to give uh, as default so it's perfect so reset it okay i think it looks like much better okay so publish it then again if you want to if you want then you can change this text like you may be interested in this title so select this section this widget actually then the settings then you can see this is the section title this is the section title if you want then you can change it from here okay so you may be interested in this item like okay okay you can see the text has been changed then again this is the images this is actually cross cell uh, uh, product if you want then you can hide from here display featured image you can see okay then the action button if you hover on it then you can see this is the add to cart add to basket if you want then you can remove it or you can change it so let's check it action button okay you can hide it okay you can see it has been hide then icon hide 
okay so if you want then you can change this color this text okay this is the add, add to basket if you want like you can write here by now okay so you can see that text has been changed so in this way you can change each and every element from the settings publish it refresh the page okay you can see it works perfectly then again if you want then you can change this text again go to the editor and select this widget okay this is the content show title it has been height then again style you can see this is the table you can change color from here then this is the button already i have shown it okay so you can do it from here so if you want a style if you want to change the style then just select the widget and check from here style and settings i hope you will get all settings in this panel okay so it has another settings just go to the dashboard hover on shop builder and click on settings then the global settings elementor widget just click here elementor widgets then the card page okay so if you want then you can manage from here just after importing the card template if you want then you can hide show from here okay so in this way if you want then you can remove the cross cell product okay then refresh it you can see the crucial product has been removed from here okay so in this way you can manage it from here or you can edit remove add from the elementor as well okay uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest tips and tricks